Na2O solid. So this now this arrow will become delta H not A F enthalpy change of formation of Na2O solid of Na2O. So this is the enthalpy change of formation of sodium oxide. So we can go directly from here to here, or we can take the long route and go here. So again, uh, this time what we did was uh, the only different thing was that we had to multiply two with uh, delta H ATM and delta uh, and the first ionization energy because we had because we had two moles. So you need to take that into account. You have to keep that in mind. You have to be aware of these things while you are solving questions. So again, we use the same formula. Uh, I'll just write it directly this time. Le is equal to delta H not F minus delta H. So that's how you can calculate lattice energy. And delta H is basically the sum of all these energies. Uh, sorry, not lattice, but all these energy till here, till sodium uh, till uh, till 2na plus and o2 negative so sum of all these energies still here now we have done this uh, now let's move to a new thing uh, so before we move to a new concept i want to tell you that the enthalpy change of atomization can be related to bond energy for compounds that for for molecules that already exist as gases so delta h not atm can be related to bond energy, BE. Let's write BE. So, for example, Cl2 gas, O2 gas. Now, all these, all these already F, or F2, N2, H2, so all these exist as gases. So, what happens is that if we have to write an equation, equation showing the bond energy, so we write Cl2 gas gives 2 Cl gas because when we break the bond between uh, which the bond between the Cl atoms is this Cl Cl. So when we break the bond, we get two mon uh, two atoms of chlorine, two gaseous atoms of chlorine, and. Uh, so this is bond energy. Bond energy is basically the energy needed to break one mole of a bond. So uh, the energy needed to break one mole. This is one mole of the bond because it's one bond only CLCL. This is the bond, uh, one bond only. So one mole of the bond. The energy needed to break one mole of the bond is bond energy. So the enthalpy change is the bond energy over here. We have to give energy to break this bond, and the enthalpy change of atomization of chlorine is half Cl2 gas. Yes. Cl gas. So, because the enthalpy change of atomization specifically has to mean that um, the, the the enthalpy change of uh, atomization specifically has to mean that one mole of gaseous atoms is formed from the element under standard conditions. So here we have one mole. Here we have two moles. So for monoatomic for diatomic molecules that exist as ga gases in their standard state, for diatomic molecules that exist as gases in their standard states. Enthalpy change of atomization is half of the bond energy because as you can see we get two over here, two atoms over here where we only, this was bond energy BE and this is atomization. So in bond energy we get two, two moles of gaseous atoms, in atomization we get one mole of gaseous atoms. So uh, this, so delta H naught ATM is half of the bond energy because 2 is to 1 half this is 2 this is 1 so it will be half of the bond energy so whenever you are uh, so sometimes what they what they do is they will not give you the enthalpy change of atomization of all these diatomic molecules that exist as gases in the standard states you will be expected to go to the data booklet look at the bond energy values and calculate delta h naught atomization by using these bond energy values. So delta H naught ATM is half of the bond energy. And this is it. So now let's move to the next part. So factors affecting the value of lattice energy. So for example, we have two compounds NaCl and Mg. 
GCL2. Now, 